Today in my salon, we're gonna be trying out this made to order $2,200 super brush, as well as a bunch of other interesting brushes for brands like Hermes, all the way down to this $1 brush. $1 brush comes from the dollar store, and we'll be lucky if this thing even works. We have a llama on one side, butterflies on the inside. Honestly, for $1, this thing has a lot of features, and who doesn't like llamas? It sounds like a maraca. All right, here we go. It's not bad. I've definitely used worse brushes than this. It's really smooth. It's actually really good, I can't believe it. Quick rules of the game today. For every brush, we're gonna tangle a small section of hair and see how quickly and safely the brush detangles it. Then, at the end, we'll see which brush is the best, but I only get to keep one of these brushes. I have to give away all the other brushes to you. I feel silly saying this, but this is actually way better than I expected. I've paid way more for brushes that don't do half the work this guy does. And then with the llama and the butterflies, this should be worth way more than a dollar. It's actually really impressive. It makes no sense. $5 brush is made by Diane. And Diane, if you don't know, it's one of the cheapest possible hair brands out there. It's like, I have to, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're getting kind of caught here. This is just ripping. I will, whoa, okay. I will say when I get to my ends, it's definitely like, I feel it kind of like the breaking of the ends, you know? Yeah. The thing that I noticed about this guy is he flexes up and down, but the actual bristles don't flex at all. These things are really, really hard. And because of that, it just gets stuck. This is supposed to be for thick, tangly hair. No, I don't think so. $8 brush is a bamboo brush. It doesn't feel good. It just feels really stiff and like, like it wants to hurt you. Some people like to use these as scalp massagers. Bad idea, it'll irritate your scalp more than anything. It says that it'll get rid of frizz and knots within three minutes. That's actually kind of a long time. Are you sure you wanna put that on the box? It's already stuck, okay. These bristles have no flex, it's like, I can't even. It doesn't move at all. <laughs> no, there's no bend. It's just, it's getting stuck right. I can't even, no. This thing takes a really long time to detangle hair. These bristles do not flex at all. It's like a recipe for ripping and tearing all your hair out and then taking a long time to do it. Why would you spend time doing that? Believe it or not, I actually have the llama brush being better than this because you have to have flexible bristles. It doesn't work. $15 brush is a ball brush. Really, these are made for more of like blow drying, but they look awesome, so we're using it to detangle today. I don't like that sound. <laughs> it's just hitting the mannequin head, don't worry about that. The thing about this is just you can glide out of it if you need to, so if you get caught, you can just kind of glide out. It's not terrible, it's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest. This is gonna be doable, yeah. Not bad at all. Ball brush here looks completely insane, but it's actually not that bad. The only thing it's missing is polishing up the hair like a really nice brush was, but really, this is pretty awesome for just a round brush. $20 brush is a newer version of my favorite everyday brush, which is a wet brush. He might look like a bit of a sea monster right now, but wet brush is one of the best brands of all time. Oh, feels so good. That feels completely different than any. All the other brushes got stuck right here. I'm not even having to do anything, put any pressure on it at all. I love anything heavy. <laughs> and this has a heavy handle. So we're, we're looking pretty good to start. I don't even know if this works, but this is- It's already heavy. biased just because it's heavy. Yes. Okay, but still got the curl. I hope you can see how easily this just glides right through the hair, gets all the tangles out so much safer. I also love how it shines up the hair really nicely, polishes everything up. It looks really weird, but honestly, I love this guy. $80 brush is special because it's made for people whose hair is thinning. This is made by the oldest brush manufacturer in the entire planet. GB Kent & Sons has nine royal warrants, meaning they supply brushes to nine different royal families. Pretty impressive, right? Do you remember like the back scratchers like that you use in the shower that you're just like, <laughs> that's This hair isn't super thin, but it should be an even better test because of that. It's pressing the hair into the head. There we go. It's really hard to get in there. This brush makes no sense. It's supposed to be for people who have thin hair, but the bristles are so 
thick, you have to jam it into the hair, and once it gets the hair, it like, it wants to rip it out. It won't really let go. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, this is not impressive. I would never recommend somebody buy this, especially for $80. $90 brush is specially made to help your hair grow faster. The website for this brush actually says that it's gonna take two to three weeks to get one because they're made by elderly craftspeople who don't move as quickly as they used to. I'm actually really excited to get to try this guy. It's just look at these bristles. They're actually made out of gold and titanium. It's kind of sticky. If you don't go in all the way, that helps. If you go in all the way, it just gets stuck. These guys are long though, so that's kind of that's kind of expected. Just gonna go for it. Whoa! Right oh, not not quite butter, but it's not, not terrible. Quite butter, but it, like, you took a big section. I did. I went for it. I will say, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> It took a ton of passes for this guy to get all the tangles out. It really struggles to get through the hair, but the main point of using this is hair growth. It's supposed to hit your acupressure sites for hair growth, whatever that is. I don't believe it. Nice try, elderly cast people. The funny thing is, if you stick yourself, these bristles are hard and they hurt. I don't know, man. I just, I expected more for 90 bucks. I don't know. $100 brush is from Orbe. And Orbe is usually known for their $50 shampoos and conditioner. It's a super premium brand. But the $100 starts to make more sense when you realize this is supposed to be a forever brush, meaning you can use this forever and it will never wear out on you. The only downside to that is do you really want to have to look at this brush for the rest of your life? $100 brush. It's not even getting in there. It's like it's only getting the top surface. I can see the tangles right here. It's not even getting them. This is like the 60s meets turtle shell. Yeah, Austin Powers 60s. Yeah, like 70s. this is like next to the lava lamp. Like you pick it up and you're like, oh, okay. If you're concerned, they actually have matching hair pieces. You can get the exact same design. Also very expensive. I'm not concerned about that in, at all. Is it going? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. It's like hard, like it hurts. Yeah. Like, like, like it hurts. Son of a gun. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, you just scraped my scalp off, man. It took a really long time for this guy to get all the tangles and knots out. It wouldn't really get in there. And for $100, I need a brush to get in there, get the knots out easily and safely, and this is just not doing it. I would rather use the llama brush than this because at least the llama brush makes me smile. $170 brush is meant to improve the health of your scalp. It's made by a French fashion house called Guerlain, and those people are so fancy, they don't even call themselves a company, they call themselves a house. The house of Guerlain has been on the cutting edge of luxury since 1828, which is actually really weird. It's the exact same year Leslie went to high school. Well, if that's the case, then you went in 1829, my friend. <laughs> I actually have really high hopes for this guy because he looks awesome and the bristles are nice and flexible. I think he's gonna be pretty good. Not bad. Feels really good. Mm, okay, it's not terrible. We're getting in there. Now we're stuck. Yeah, when it comes down to tough knots, it's just getting, it's just getting stuck. I mean, get through. Yeah. And I don't feel like it's hurting me like the other one. I just feel like it's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because we brush my hair so much, but I feel like it's frizzier or bigger. It actually does detangle the hair pretty well, but it's just not strong enough. These bristles are just too weak. If you have thick, tangly hair, it's just not gonna work. But this is actually for scalp care, so I can totally see using this on your scalp because the bristles are nice and soft. The only problem with that is you really shouldn't be massaging your head with a brush. Use your fingers when you're shampooing. That's all you need. $250 brush is from Mason Pearson. It's pretty well known because it's been around since the 1920s and they haven't changed the design since the 20s. Mason Pearson, we meet again. Why you didn't end up in my drawer, I have no idea why. <laughs> When you get in this price range, you expect almost everything to be handcrafted, and that's exactly what this is. One of my favorite things about this brush is that it has both boar bristle and nylon bristles. They're really close to each other, which helps you detangle really quickly. These things are super high quality. They will literally last you for decades. If you ever see one at a garage sale, pounce on it. That feels so good. <laughs> oh. 
it's beautiful it glides straight through there you can see it's just no resistance at all this is an expensive brush that actually does its job this goes through your hair so easily it barely pulls the hair at all it's so safe so healthy i just really really like this brush it's not worth anywhere near 250 dollars but it is a really nice brush there's nothing about it that i hate besides the fact that it isn't in my house right now $500 brush is made by Hermes, which you probably know better for their handbags, which are also really expensive. Everything is really nice about this. The box, the packaging, everything. It's just like you'd expect from Hermes. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this wrong and I hope it annoys every single fancy one of you who actually has one. Hermes. The really unique thing about this brush is it has a totally different type of bristle. This is actually made with goat bristle not pig bristle not nylon not anything goat hair five hundred dollars it's it's like a paintbrush where it just i'm just pushing the hair against the head come on <laughs> is this a scam like is this for real okay this is really gonna take a lot of effort here to get this through. like are we at all through? <laughs> yeah a little bit actually yeah don't warp my bristle my goat hair bristles man how much is this 465 for what goat hair bristles i could buy my listening? own goat <laughs> <laughs> you could buy for, a couple goats probably. i could buy i could buy a goat farm <laughs> for 500 dollars. so we looked this up on their website and it says it's a regular hairbrush but it's linked to some other baby products so we're thinking maybe this is like a baby brush which is why it's really really soft i don't know the only thing i can think of to use this is for like smoothing down flyaways because it actually does shine the hair up really well yeah fancy people are weird this isn't even like a usable brush $2,200 brush. This is it, my friendly friends. This is the most expensive brush I have in my entire collection. I'm so mad at you for spending that amount of money. <laughs> it's lived its entire life in this tiny little case here, which it almost never leaves because it's really, it's like a collectible to me. I got this from a place called Scully and Scully, which is a super expensive luxury store on like Park Avenue, something ridiculous like that in New York. They basically go around the world collecting stuff like this for fancy people. So this was actually made by hand out of sterling silver, which is a jewelry grade metal. It's kind of delicate, so we're gonna try and take it easy here today. The very first time I have ever used this brush. It's not great. This is a lot like the Hermes brush. I can't get it in there. It won't actually dig into the hair. It just like stops along the surface. I really didn't think it was too much to ask for a $2,200 brush to brush hair. It's not like I was going to use it every day or something, but I wanted it to at least be good. And it's not. It's terrible. It sucks. Like we said earlier, I only get to keep one of these brushes and I have to give away the rest to you. And the one that I choose to keep is the Scully and Scully brush. I just, I need this in my collection. I love old vintage type stuff and I'm gonna get a bunch of other brushes just like it. And that means you guys are gonna get some really expensive brushes. I wanna give these brushes away to the people who are most active in the community. So if you want one, make sure you're on my email list. So when I send out the details, you'll get them. All you have to do is sign up for my recommended product list and you'll be all set. Keep an eye out for an email. Have a good one.